Hello and welcome. In today's class, I'll be showing you how you can download and set up JDK so that you don't have to depend on BlueJ to compile and execute your Java programs. JDK is the main software that contains the Java compiler as well as the interpreter, which helps us to compile and execute our Java programs. Even BlueJ in the background downloads and installs JDK and through JDK only BlueJ also compiles and execute your Java program. So that doesn't mean that you need to completely depend on BlueJ. You can compile and execute your Java programs even without BlueJ. So all you need to do is just download and install JDK. And for that, you need to head over to the Google search engine and just type JDK download. And you will see many links and make sure you click on the Oracle link and the topmost link is Java downloads. Click on this link. And below as you scroll down, you will see that the setup is available for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So my operating system is Windows. So I click on Windows and just choose this second option x64 because I have a 64 bit processor on my computer. So I select this x64 installer, which is around 163.82 MB. And the current version that I'm downloading is JDK 21.0.1. So I click on this link and you can see that the downloading has started. Once the downloading is complete, you just need to open that file. Click yes if you get any warning and now you can close the web browser. Now click on next and you can see over here that JDK will be installed in this particular location C program files Java JDK 21. Click on next. And now it is showing the message Java development kit successfully installed. So now you can just close it. But the process is not yet complete. We need to set the path in our operating system where JDK is installed. And this is a very important step. So what you need to do, just open file explorer and go to this PC go to C drive where Java is installed under program files. There must be a folder Java, click on it and then JDK and then bin. Now this path needs to be copied. So just click over here on top and the entire path gets selected. Right click it and click on copy. Once you have copied the path, now in the search, just type environment. And you will get one option, edit the system environment variables. Click on it. Now below you have this button, environment variables. Click it. And under system variables, you have one option path. Select this and click on edit. When you click on edit, you will see that there is already one entry C program files, common files, Oracle, Java, Java path. That means this is where we have to paste. We have to override this 
with our copied path. So just click on edit and just paste the path that you had copied earlier and click on OK. OK again. OK again. And once this is done, now you are ready to type your Java program. So even you can use your notepad. Let me show it to you. Class, let's say my app. Public static void main. String args. System dot out dot print telling JDK up and running. And it's also important where you save it. So you should save it to your home folder. This is my home folder. And I give the file name as myapp.java. And also when you're using notepad, below this option, save as type, click on it and change it to all files. And now click on save. And now you can compile and execute your program. All you need to do now is just head over to your command prompt. In Windows 11, you can increase the font size of the command prompt by pressing Ctrl plus like this. And now to compile your program. So if you recall, we saved our Java source file in this location only in our home folder. So by default, the command prompt also opens up in the home folder. That's why I asked you to save your Java files in the home folder. So now to compile your program, just type Java C space the file name. So my app dot Java. Press enter. If everything is fine, if there is no compile time error, no message will appear and the command prompt will again be asking you to type another command. So now to run the program, you just type Java and only the class name and press enter. So you can see the output JDK up and running. One more thing that I would like to tell is the class name and the file name. Make sure you give the same file name what you give in the class name. So my file name was myapp.java and that's why the class name was also my app. Even it is matching in case also M and A are capital here also M and A are capital. So it should match exactly. And then only your program will work smoothly. You will be able to compile and run your programs smoothly without any error. So that's all for today. I hope you've understood how to set up JDK and compile and execute a Java programs even without BlueJ. You don't have to depend on BlueJ. Thank you for watching and see you in the next class.